Kills Mania. Hey, hey. Uh, uh. You know what I mean? Fat Joe getting ready for album number nine. Big time. Yo, that sounds crazy. Yeah, it does. You're man. like, you're officially like yeah. OG status. Album in stores April 7th. Jose 2, Yo Ange. This mm -hmm. album, it's the hottest album coming out. Anybody. When you hear this album, I'm telling you, this is such hit mania. I got this joint with Little Kim. It's called Porn Star So hit Bad. Mania. Mania. Yo, when I say hit mania. Mania. The word. This, this, my new words, my new way to describe songs is called force fields. No one can stop it. It's so big. Oh God. It's so big. I'm telling you, it's so big, America. This Jose too. Get used to it. Summer Jam lockdown. I just, oh, cut, I just cut the commercials. Look, y'all didn't even ask me yet. I went back there. I said, Yo, Jill, turn the mic on. She turned it on. I said. Fat Joe Live, Summer Jam, June 7th, <laughs> Giant Stadium will never be the same. Hit Mania, I'm taking over the globe. Let's Early. go in. Early. Uh, all right, let's talk about let, let's talk about some of the drama, some of the fun rap drama happening in the world today. Circus. Well, you know, Ange. Yes. I was gonna announce on your show breaking news. Is this breaking news? Do we breaking news that I'm not really gonna comment on certain individuals no more. Okay. But you can ask me about Khaled. See, DJ... Is, your, is this your tactic for not uh, participating in the... No, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, it's, it's over already. Because sometimes when you get involved with this, you start looking crazy. Mm. You know, you look at it from outside and you be like, yo, that dude is crazy. But then you start answering back and then you start looking just as crazy. So you just say, you know, and um, just with like... The, the Khaled's moms, for whoever knows, like, that's it. That's it. Like, at that point, you know. It's not funny anymore. It's not nah. Funny. Big time. Yeah. What about before that, when things were funny? <laughs> before that, were you able to, uh, cause... I never cared. Like, I'm, I'm Teflon. Right. You know, mm -hmm. I'm built for whatever. Before rap music, I was, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's, it's I'm, part I'm, of the game. I'm Teflon. You know what I'm saying? So, right. with me, it's like, with, with my credibility, you look it up, you know, Joe... From the streets, he gets it in. You know, he, I'm good. You know, there's really nothing you can say about me. You know, you, right. you look up my my kids. They look they look magnificent. They're dressed so nice. They, they go to great <laughs> school. I mean, it's like I'm good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really do nothing to me. What do you uh? What do you tell your people? Because you you have a pretty good relationship with Ross. Too, I tell right? Cal yeah. But Ross, what do you tell Khaled? I don't know. Ross don't really ask for advice or nothing like that. He's a big boy. He's doing what he's doing. He's getting it in. His music is incredible. You, you know, think it's, any of this is hurting him? I really don't know. You know, it's, mm. it's, you know, I really don't know, man. You know, some people react different ways. Some people would bounce off of them. Some people like it. You know, obviously, if he shot first, then, you know. He wanted it. He mm -hmm. wanted it. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? That's him. He's, he's, he's good to go. As, as far as Khaled, we are so proud of Khaled, man. It's my little brother. Now he's a president of Def Jam. So my advice, I tell Khaled, I say, Khaled, you're no longer a DJ. You're no longer Fat Joe or Rick Ross's brother or friend. You you represent a whole, a whole bunch of artists and all that. You stay to your, cause you know Khaled is, mm -hmm. you know he's he's Arab Palestinian. Mm -hmm. He jumps off the roof for his crew. Like he would, he would strap up and go in. So you know what I'm saying? I'm telling him, you're president now, man. Just do what you gotta do. You gotta understand this. Um, <clears throat> this industry has never seen an animal like DJ Khaled. He's mm -hmm. hungry. He's thirsty. Fantastic he's, work ethic. He's his et his ethic is crazy. And now he's the president of a company. God forbid what he's gonna do with some power now. Mm -hmm. Cause you know we always in this game. Believe it or not, you know the Terror Squad movement or whatever. We've always been like against the grain. We've been the guys throwing the rocks at at the tanks. You understand what I'm saying? So now they put him in power, so he's going to do what he got to do. We proud of him. So your advice to him is to just stay focused and stay on Absolutely. That. He has nothing to do with that. He has nothing to do with that. He's just, you know, of course he loves Rick Ross. He loves Fat Joe, but he's the president of a company now. Right now he got he to gotta make a hit record for Rihanna. He got to make a hit record for Kanye West. He got to make a hit record for Fab. 
hit record for Jeezy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He's 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 gonna be big, man. DJ Khaled's gonna be huge. Yeah. Do you think about that sometimes? Like, when is gonna be my time? When am I gonna? I just stop know how it? to make those things. I tell you one thing is even scarier, and I don't want America to shoot me when I walk down the street. But how about my work ethic? I put an album together, then I go tour the rest of the year, or I do whatever else. If I stood in the studio like some of these rappers all day, mm. it'd be invi I'd be invincible. I have, no, I swear to you, I would have like 20 number one hits a year. Like if I just said, yo, I'm not going on the road, I'm going to just stay in the studio and bang out hits, bang out hits, bang out hits, bang out hits. Because me, I go like this, all right, I got this one month, do this album, I got to make some hits in that month and I'm out. Mm. Let me go get this money. You, you understand what I'm saying? I if I stood there eight months in the studio every single day sleeping, it'd be scary for a lot of Americans out there. <laughs> oh, American. I'm telling you. It'd be so, nah, it'd be so scary. I'm telling you, it'd be scary because I do it too. Americans. I love to do it, man. At the end of the day, I love to do it. I love to hear you play my record enough, flex, see every. I love to hear it when they, when, when I'm tuned in, enough brings that back, makes that movie. I'm like, damn. Feels good. I'm chasing history right now. We trying to be like, you know, we trying to put it up. Put it up. Like, at the end of the day, I'm right sure now, we're chasing history. I'm sure we, I'm sure there's historical things already about your career. Too many historical. You know what I mean? But then I'll sound arrogant. Br oh, you already, you already. You just yeah, I'm already over the top. Yo, no, let me tell you. Yeah, Ange, 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 let me tell you something, Ange. You're going Very right? rare. We family, so we don't look enough. We family, so you don't look at me as, you look at me as Joey, not mm -hmm. Fat Joe. Right. For the record, it's not too many artists that could be here 15 years coming every single year with a hit record, number one most requested research in America. Mm -hmm. Regardless if I sell a million or don't sell a million or whatever the case may be, at the end of the day, we relevant. love music. Mm -hmm. Good music and relevant. I put it up every year. The problem is, mm -hmm. enough, is this year... Oh, Dios mío. Oh, yo, yo, Ange, this album, All right with you. this album, oh my God, you remember, right, don't tell me. Just bring you're going to call, you're going to call Lorena and you're going to be like, yo, this is, let me tell you a secret, mm. my wife never liked one of my albums, really? never, no she way. has liked songs, but she was ah, you always want to kill people, ah, you know, this, this, you this, this, this. I took her to a personal listening session. <laughs> That's so bad. Like two weeks ago. Booked the studio, big speakers. I said, Ma, sit down. I said, you're going to win Grammys this year. Your album's phenom. Really? It's I'm telling you. No, she keeps it 100. No, nah, she, she tells me she don't like my album. She was like, I don't <laughs> know about this. I don't know about that. Nah, this ain't hot. You know, that she keeps it real, 100. Yeah, that's one I thing. I played yeah. this album. She told me, yo, you're going to win. She couldn't even sleep that night. She was like, you're going to win, Grant. This is out of here. This is, I went in to the highest level. I'm telling you, I had somebody, I'm going to tell you, when Big Pun, Big Pun died, rest in peace, you know, that's my brother. I love him to death. When he died, people doubted me, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I walked in a conversation on some people I really, really loved and trusted who told me they were talking behind my back. It was like a novella or something. They didn't know I was in the staircase, and they was like, yo, it's over for him, this, 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 that, and I was, it hurt my feelings. So then I came, stepped it up with We Thug and then Once Love. Recently in the last year, I caught somebody I really, really trust and love saying, sit for Joe. He's sit over. for Joe, he's over. It hurt me so much, man. <laughs> it hurt me so much. I went in that studio enough. <laughs> Follow our best song. <laughs> Too many hit records. Awesome. Now you're gonna get dizzy with these hit records. Oh, dizzy. Uh, dizzy. <laughs>